Hey, what's up everyone? This is Lulz here and I'm bringing you another fantastic tutorial. Yesterday it was Jennifer Lawrence, today it's Kane West. I'm excited, you're excited. Kane West is upside down, let's get into it. So obviously you're going to need your picture of the lovely Kane West. You're going to want uh, your recording software and Photoshop. I've already taken the liberty of tracing around the outlines and putting in some features. We could just jump right into this. You don't need to be told how to trace things. You know how to do that. Let's get into the fun stuff. Straight away, what we're going to want to do is add some color to this. It, color is important in drawing. There are no black and white pictures. None. They don't exist. People don't like them. People like color. The world is in color. Why did we stop having black and white TV? Because color TV is so much better. Any Anything in black and white is boring. It should die. It should... No. Color. We need color. Now you may see here I've got my color selections already uh, pre-made. This is a lovely, lovely pink color, but it's not lovely enough. There we go. So for the lips, we are going to go for an absolutely gorgeous hot pink lip color. Just uh, give it the layer a name. So we know in the future that this is our lip color layer. It is the layer of lip color. Now let's grab our brush, let's get to a reasonable lip color size, and start coloring it in. Now you may say to me, Lols, his lips aren't pink. Well you see, you can use any colors you want and get away with calling it abstract art. That's how art works. And the same goes for eyes. His eyes may be brown, but in my mind, they are yellow. So we're going to go for a yellow. Close your eyes. Picture Kane West. What color are his eyes? Use that color. Use that color right now. Don't even think twice about it. Use that color. Now we've done all the important things, it's time to get onto the shading. I made a massive mistake yesterday. What we should have been doing is using an absolutely massive brush, and I didn't do that last time. So let's go get a black color, get that nice big brush. Activate this, lower the opacity, and let's get right to it. Now again, there's absolutely no need to be careful or precise with the shading. You can easily fix it, again, with some absolutely brilliant Gaussian Blur. So let's go ahead, get some of that, and crank it up. Blur it till you can't even see the, the details of the shading. And this looks good now. This looks fantastic. Wow! Wow! Now obviously, we're going to want to add some skin color, as humans are known for having color to their skin. And Kane is no exception, but he, he of course, unlike Jonathan Lawrence, is a rapper. And rappers, as everyone know, have purple skin. So let's go ahead and get the lovely rapper skin color. Uh, there we go, that's it, that's it right there, maybe, uh, there we go. Okay, and go ahead and start coloring. Don't worry about being messy, because again, like the lips, you could argue that this is your style. It's abstract, it's art. I can already hear the fangirl screaming Kane's name. Kane! Kane! I love you, Kane! Now you may say, Lulz, he has a beard, he has a mustache. Where is it? Well, good question, and thank you very much for asking. Here's a trick to get those ever so tricky beards and mustaches done. Go ahead and open page and import your picture. Then select the spray can tool. Select the bigger size, as this is quite a big picture. Uh, and zoom in and start getting all those lovely, hairy details. Now we need to add a lovely, gorgeous background. I already have a background in mind. Let's see what it looks like. Not too bad, if I may say so myself. I think it's quite good. And so do you. Thanks for the compliment. Now you could always, if you're feeling rather lazy, take the easy route. I've taken this many times myself. Let's uh, turn the opacity on that back up and go to filter and go to filter gallery. And here there's tons of really nice things you could do to make it look like you put effort into something when you actually didn't. I don't know about you, but this is starting to look pretty darn artistic. Not autistic, but artistic. You can start going through the blending modes to make it look that much more fantastic. Let's have a look at some of them, shall we? Wow, that looks pretty darn good. Wow, look at that even better. This is my favorite so far. I have to say this one here is pretty good. There you go, I've taught you how to cheat in art. Thank me once you're a millionaire and your art is all over the place, in nurseries, in restaurants, in toilets and bathrooms all over the world. You're welcome. Thank you again for watching my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to suggest other people for me to do tutorials on. I look forward to your suggestions. I got overwhelmingly great feedback on my last video. 
So many views I couldn't even count them. See you guys next time. For the future. And when I was a kid, whenever I was doing skin colour, we used pink. You can't go wrong. So let's, let's get right into it. Let's get that. Oh wow! Look at that! Go ahead and open paint and select the spray, spray can.